Hi, I'm Seth with Taylor Adhesives, and today we are going to be continuing our series on taking good job site photos. Now, in case you did miss parts one and two, I encourage you to go back to our YouTube channel and just check those out, where you can also find a bunch of other great content as well. I am joined by Skylar again, who's going to walk us through even more in-depth tips and tricks on getting those good job site photos. Skylar, thank you for being here again. Thanks for having me, Seth. Absolutely. So listen, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about focus and exposure. Now focus and exposure are something your phone already does automatically. Okay. Phone software likes to focus on faces or objects. So when you're taking a picture of your floor, auto might not always be the best option. Okay. Yeah. So what, what do we do about that? Well, luckily it's really simple and easy to set your focus and exposure manually. Okay. How do we do it? Well, you're going to take your finger, you're going to hold it on whatever object you want to focus on, and then a little box will pop up, locking in focus and exposure. Now, okay. if you further want to adjust your exposure, there's a little slider to the right of that. You can drag that up and down, and that's another way to fine tune the phone's exposure. Okay. I mean, both of those sound, sound pretty easy. Yeah. So uh, with exposure, what else, what else do we need to know? Another thing to look at is your lighting and reflections. Now, lighting can be a little tricky. Time of day can really affect the outcome of your photo. You have light coming in from outside. You have lights coming on from your inside sources. So finding a nice even balance between those things is something that's important to take a nice photo of your space. Okay, so keep my light balanced. Yep. Unless I'm going for some dramatic effect. Yep. Okay, that's easy enough. And then you said reflections? Yeah, reflections can be tricky too. If you have a super reflective surface on your floor that you've just installed, you can get a glare or a sheen hitting off that and ending up in the photo. Or if you have reflective surfaces such as windows or mirrors, you yourself could end up in the photo and not even know it. Right, and we've all seen those photos where people yep. don't realize they're in it, but they are. Yep. So we want to avoid that whenever we can. Well, Skylar, great tips. Uh, thank you again. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and we will continue it. Uh, in part four, but for now I encourage you to just go back to our YouTube channel, check out other tips um, that we have on there, and just remember at Taylor Adhesives, we're with you every step.